Hi, today we are going to make a very nice and interesting effect of dancing trees. It will all be done in Maya only. We will make the trees using Maya paint effects. And then we will animate them, using two different methods. One method will be keyframe animation, and the second method will be expression animation, using Maya Expression Editor. So let's get started. First we need to create our tree. So we will go in Window. General Editors, and there we have Visor. Our Visor gets opened. Visor is a window, where you can find Myopane effects, and so many presets. You can find so many interesting paint effects, or textures in Visor. Just explore and play with all these. These paint effects are very useful for your projects. When you want to create anything with paint effects, click on the preset you want to use. Left click in the viewport, and drag. Just as simple as that. Nothing complicated. Just select your preset, click and drag in the viewport. And you get very interesting paint effects. There are so many different paint effects, just explore them. We need to make trees. So we will come to our trees folder. In the tree mesh folder, I have these so many different kind of trees. Let's start making the animation. For that I will create a new scene. I will use this palm tree for this effect. You can use any of them. Select the palm tree, come to viewport, left click, and drag. Here we get a nice palm tree, ready to be animated. Let's see it in shaded mode. Minimize the visor, and let's see what happens when we play. So you can see, we do not only get a nice tree mesh, but animation of the tree also. We have animation in the leaves, and trunk also. I will stop the animation. And let's start making our tree to dance. First I will get some more frames, maybe 500. Then I will select the tree. We will go in the attribute editor. There we have stroke shape. I do not need to change anything in the stroke node. Next to stroke node, we have palm light one node. This is a node which controls everything of the tree. You can change tree's texture, shading, illumination, and so many other things. Our tree looks quite good so I am not going to change any of them. Let's come to tube section. In the tube section find Ben attribute. Here we got two attributes. Bend and bend bias. We are concerned about bend only. Right now the value of the bend is zero, so there is no bend in our tree. Let's change the value to one. As you see, when I change the value to one, the tree gets a bend to left side. Let's change it to negative one. So the bend comes to the right side. So this is the main attribute where you control the bend of the tree. If I change it to 0.5 it's like this. And 2.7. It's like this. So according to the value in bend, you get different shape in the tree. We want to change the tree to dance. So for that we'll need to animate the value in the bend attribute. Currently our tree is having little offset. Let's fix this. It's very simple. You need to just rotate the tree. You can position the paint effects anywhere you like, using your transform tools. I want to have it left and right. So I will have it like this. Now we start animating the bend. First we will animate it using keyframe. So come to frame 1. Right click on bend, and from the menu, 
click set key. So we get a keyframe on our bin attribute. After 50 frames, I will change it to negative 0.7. So it will bend to the side. Again, I will come after 50 frames, frame 100. This time positive 0.7. So it bends to this direction. Again after 50 frames, 150. I will change the value to negative 0.7. So we keep going on like this. And we will have animation in our tree. This time positive 0.7. Let's see what do we have. So I will come on frame 1 and play. So you can see we are having this animation in the tree. We animated it up to frame 200. So when time passes 200 frames, the animation in bend stops. If you want to animate it more, keep going like we did before. So this is one method to animate the tree. The second method is using expression. So let's start making animation using expression. So for that I will come on the first frame. And delete the keyframe also. So right click on bend and say break connection. Now there is no animation in the bend. Let's start animating with expression. So right click and say create new expression. Then it open the window of the expression editor. In the expression editor we write codes for animating and many other things. When you come here you can see selected object and attribute. There we have the node name and its attribute. Now we will select these all. Copy, come in the expression area. And paste. From here we will animate the value of the Ben attribute. So after the attribute, I will type equals to, and then sign. Sign is a function, which changes the value to and fro, positive to negative. After this within parentheses, I will type, time. So what is time here? Time is according to the number of frames per seconds. Like 25 frames per second. So time will be calculated as 1 second at frame 25. So after typing this code, I will click on the create button. Now, now if you check the bend attribute, it shows in pink color. It has been now connected with our expression. Let's minimize the expression editor and play. So you can see we have got animation in our tree. The sign function is changing the value from negative 1 to positive 1. So the tree get bended from negative to positive side. And one interesting thing about the sign expression. It will be changing the value up to infinity. No matter how many frames you have in your time slider. It will keep animating value up to the frames limit. Let's increase the frames to 5000. And we will come on very late frames and play. So you can see we still have got animation in our tree. Next we will edit our expression to change the speed of the bend value. Let's open the expression editor again. We can change the speed of the bend also. I want to make the motion little faster. So for that, I will come here and after time, and type star button for multiply, so it's time into 10. What it will do? It will multiply the time by 10, means the tree's animation will be 10 times faster. Click on edit button. You can see that our tree animation is very much faster than before. Because we multiply the time by 10, so it is 10 times faster. You can make it slower also. To slow the animation, we need to divide it instead of multiplying. So I type time divided by 10 and say edit. Let's see the change. You can see, that animation is quite slower. Because we made the speed 10 times slower. So how much fast or slow you want your animation to be. You multiply it or divide it, to make it faster or slower. 
I will now set the animation speed to time faster than time. This is the speed I want. Like this we can make the tree dance, up to infinity. If you want more trees, there is no need to do the whole procedure again, for each tree. It's quite time consuming if you want so many trees. For that we can just duplicate our tree. With its input connections. Let's create more duplicates of this tree. First select the tree, then we go and edit, then click on duplicate special options box. There we have this option named, Duplicate Input Graph. So it will create one more duplicate of the tree. As well as a connection graph also. Means the expression node will also be duplicated and connected to our new tree. So check on the option and create. So now we have two trees. And this tree is animated also, you do not need to do anything. If you like to have variation in your new tree, you have the whole attributes of the duplicate. So from this node you can change everything of this tree. So like that, you can have as many trees as you want. Let's create one more tree. Select a tree, go to Edit, Duplicate Special Options, Duplicate, Input Graph and Create. So we have got our dancing trees. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe.